Right. We were uh, emceeing the event today at East High School. Uh, a big crowd there coming out to hear the message and then taking to the street to march. Uh, Keith, you have sort of dual roles here at the University of Utah. We're talking athletics and diversity, uh, equity, and inclusion. And I wonder uh, if we can talk about that concept here. It's in some circles divisive. You hear a lot of political rhetoric about DEI, but what should we as non-politicians think about when it comes to that conversation and how to talk to each other about it? I, I appreciate the question so much and thank you for covering this today. I mean, it, it's really important. And to address your question, fundamentally we all wanna be seen, we all wanna be heard, and we all wanna be valued and respected for who we are. So you can put whatever letters you want in front of it, but fundamentally that is what DEI represents, being seen, being heard, and being valued for who we are and what we bring to the table. So in my role, and one of the reasons why I have a dual designation is we don't ever want a student athlete, a coach, uh, a member of our athletic staff to not feel that they're not seen, valued, and heard, which means we need to be in alignment with the values of the university. And this is one of the pillars uh, under President Randall, uh, is to value diversity, equity, and inclusion. Keith, thanks so much for sharing that. Now, one of the topics that uh, we're really focusing on today is where do we go from here? Mm -hmm. And so we'd love to hear from your perspective. What's your answer to that? Wow. If, if I had one, I'd probably be making a little bit more money and we wouldn't be standing out here in the cold. <laughs> uh, but what I would say is, you know, I, I was a history major, proud history major, undergraduate student here at the University of Utah. And it comes to what does it mean to be civically engaged? And, and that is apolitical. But the study of civics, by definition, is what are the rights and responsibilities of a citizen? Uh, so Democrat, Republican, whatever you may fall under, what are your rights and responsibilities? And can we not have that thing of civility to have a conversation where we can be different but still fundamentally respect each other as people? Uh, so when you say where do we go from here, regaining our civility uh, with each other and then also our dignity just simple human dignity. Uh, if I respect you as a human being and a person, it's a lot harder for me to not give that value to you as a human being first. We may disagree, but I still will always see you as a person. Uh, so civility, uh, what does it mean to be civically engaged? Uh, I was fortunate to be able to talk to our student athletes uh, about this in November. And it's not just voting. Uh, it is understanding what your rights and responsibilities are as a citizen. Mm -hmm.